For families who have lost loved ones to violent crime, the holidays can be haunting. This evening's Tree of Angels ceremony in Austin is dedicated to honoring those victims and providing support for the survivors. KXAN's Brittany Glass is live at the Central Christian Church on Guadalupe with more on this. Brittany. Well, Shannon, this is the 26th year for the ceremony. Behind me, I'm surrounded by tables. On those tables, angels, more than 1,100 angels, each one symbolizing a victim. Family members and friends will come pick up those angels and place them on Christmas trees tonight. Now, the keynote speaker for this year's event is Elizabeth Crescente. Her daughter was murdered 10 years ago. She's become, she's made it her mission, rather, to tackle teen dating violence and really has become a voice for the loved ones who've lost family, friends to violent crimes in Travis County. My child can't move on. My child can't have a family. My child can't get married or graduate college or achieve her goals. The harsh reality you know, of her daughter's way, death a decade ago Jennifer. still rings true today. Her colorful, quirky daughter, Jennifer Ann, was shot to death, killed just months before her high school graduation, the victim of teen dating violence. It was a troubled relationship. Um, it could be fairly volatile. Her on-again, off-again boyfriend, Justin Crabb, pleaded guilty to her murder. He's currently serving a 35-year sentence. In the aftermath of her daughter's death, Elizabeth Crescente says she had only two choices. I was going to die and be with my daughter, or I was going to move forward in a way that honored her, in a way that maybe I could do a percentage of what she was going to do should she have lived. In memory of Jennifer, the Texas legislature passed a law in 2007 requiring every school district in the state to have a teen dating violence policy. It addresses response to victims, education for parents and teachers, support services on campus and prevention education. But for Crescente, the fight is far from over. We definitely have made a lot of progress, but there's lots more progress to, to be made. And she says she'll continue advocating for young victims, sharing her daughter's legacy as often as she can. I get that opportunity to really um, feel in touch with her. That's a beautiful thing. Brittany Glass, KXAN News. Crab will be eligible for parole in 2023. Another man was arrested for providing the gun and ammo Crab used in that murder. But those charges were dropped because Crab refused to testify against him. And Elizabeth says knowing he is walking around free makes it impossible for her to feel justice will ever be served.